The Durham County District Attorney says that murder convictions were double last year what they were in 2020, mm -hmm. but there is still more work that needs to be done. CBS 17's Crystal Price spoke with the DA about one thing that's uh, needed to get justice for more crime victims. It is his will. After almost 50 homicides last year in Durham. Two. The Stop Killing Us movement took to the streets today, calling for change. We gather today and call for church action. We have mothers who are enduring, weeping. At the Durham County Courthouse, District Attorney Satana DeBerry says they are doing what they can to bring justice to these families. My office has always been focused on serious and violent crime. She says last year there were 19 murder and manslaughter convictions, double the amount they had in 2020. Unfortunately, 2020 was a pandemic year. We didn't have any trials, uh, so we weren't able to try any of those cases. She says the biggest challenge in convicting these defendants is the need for eyewitnesses to come forward. Honestly, a witness is the best uh, evidence is an eyewitness. Often there is an eyewitness. Often there's more than one eyewitness. Some in the community have voiced concerns about those arrested for gun related crimes, bonding out and committing more crimes. I know they're innocent until proven guilty, but if they have enough evidence on them to go to jail, they need to stay in jail. I asked Barry about these concerns from the community. Uh, I would say that is a question for the judges. The DA's office does not set bonds. The, we advocate for a bond in every case in which there's been violence. Um, and the Constitution requires a bond. Her office says they do seek to hold people without bonds under those limited circumstances allowed by law. <laughs> but when addressing gun violence, she says it's going to take the whole community. We can't prosecute our way out of this. Um, we can't arrest our way out of it. In Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News. Now, CBS 17 did reach out to some judges in Durham County for a comment on concerns about how bonds are set. We are still waiting to hear back.